Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in the Box. I am Carsten and in this episode I would like to show you how to animate our character Rex. In the last episode we made our map and we have seen our character Rex has simply no animation. So we want to create them yet. To create animations we have to use the voxel editor. So we can use the recent created models to go there or we can choose our character Rex from the character folders in the upper left. Select them with double click. In the voxel editor, you can change your view in the upper right and uh, the lower right corner. There are the presets front, back, left, right, top, and bottom. You can choose them by simply click them. You can also define your own preview angles by select the angle with the right mouse button and then click the save camera precision button and give them a name. So I call it portrait. In the right side panel, you see your character Rex in the preview and simply all edited objects or tiles. In several cases, the angle isn't perfect and you have a you can hardly imagine how it looks. So we can change this preview by setting a thumbnail. You can find it in the top navigation bar. There is a capture thumbnail button. And if you click them, you see the preview thumbnail of Rex has changed. So you can better imagine how it looks. To make an animation for Rex, we have to change the position of voxels over time. To do that, we can use the animation framework. At the screen button, you see the animation manager. There you can see a number of frames, currently one of one, and you have the buttons to go to, to the frames. The start, the previous frame, next frame, the last frame, then the time of your frames. To create a new frame, to copy your actual frame or your current frame, to delete a frame, and to move a frame left or right. So I want to create a idle animation for Rex with winking eyes and additional the moving animation. So we will create several frames and sequence them in the time. So let's start. To create the winking eyes, we have to copy our current frame by use the current uh, copy the uh, duplicate current frame button. Then we choose the pickup tool and choose the scheme color and then close the eyes slightly and save our first frame. Then we copy it again and close the eyes completely. And that's it about our winking eyes. Now we have to sequence them over time. To do this, we check our animation. So we have open eyes, half closed eyes and closed eyes. And if we go back, the eyes are open again. To create an animation, we can use the add animation button. Then we have to choose a name. With the magnifier, we have preset that we can see presets. We have the idle animation, that is, if our character stands on a tile and does nothing. We have walking, interacting with objects, attacking enemies, spawning on a map, the death animation, a revive animation, climbing on a ladder, pushing a box, pull something, and we have the directional animations which we can use if our character has something special in moving in a direction. So we simply choose the idle animation and then we start with frame one and end with frame three and we have to choose the type. There are several types to choose from. We have the loop animation, which is a simply a loop of frames, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. Then we have the ping pong animation, which goes one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. 
Then we have the ons animation, which is one, two, three, and then stays at frame one. The opposite is the clamp animation. It also goes, goes one, two, three, but then holds the third frame. And we have the ping pong ons frame uh, any type, which is one, two, three, two, one, and stands at frame one. For our animation, we use the ping pong animation type. So we choose a speed of eight frames per second. And currently we have no sound effects. So we choose the OK button. Now we see our animation type in the screen bottom. We have the idle animation and we can see the preview with the play button. So we see Rex has winking eyes, but it's really unnatural. It's much too fast and the eyes normally should be longer open in a open frame. So we can change that by give this frame a longer frame time. So normally we have three time slots, one for each frame, and we can set one frame to a longer time. So it chooses, uh, it uses uh, 10 times the slots instead. So we changed it and save it. And we use the preview again. And we see it's more natural. Okay, that's it about the idle animation. And now we come to the move animation. So now we will come to the move animation. To give Rex in a move animation, we need our first frame again. And we have to make a copy of them. So we duplicate them and move them to the most right frame. So we check it again. Open eyes, semi-closed eyes, closed eyes. And that's our new primary position for our move animation. So next, we copy that frame again. And then we have to position our legs and arms. So in the first frame, we want to move the left leg one voxel grid field in the front. To do that, we can use the arrows in the upper right corner. So we move them to the front and we move the arm and the back. That's okay. And the opposite on the other side. So we have the first, uh, the second frame of our move animation. To create the third frame of the move animation, we can simply duplicate them again. And then we can use the mirror tool, which is in the left side panel. So we have our three animation parts. We check them. We have the normal animation and we have the moved legs and arms. So we have to rearrange them and we have to set the normal animation in the middle. And that's it. So we can add our move animation by selecting the type walk. And now we use frame four to six and we use the ping pong animation again with speed eight and we will try it out. Ah, and we missed something. We have set the frames to a frame time of 10 slots. And we have to set them back to one slot. So we changed it. And we test it again. And th that looks pretty good. Okay, that's it. Save it. And now we want to see the results in the game. So press quick play. Don't forget to save the model. And we are into the game. And 
he has cute winking eyes. And the walk animation is also pretty good. But I think it's a little bit too slow, so we can change it in the model properties. So go down go down to the animation tab or animation section, choose the walk animation, and we can set the speed to 10 frames per second. Don't forget to save and we check it again. So I think that's pretty good. And that's about animation for this episode. In the next episode, I plan to create a river with flowing water and transparency effects. So if you liked it so far, give me thumbs up, stay tuned, and I would be very excited about your subscription. See you in the next episodes. Bye.